I have buttons and apps and voice assistance galore, but what really makes my home a smart home is the automations I have set up in my home that make it work without me having to prompt anything. So let's talk about nine automations that I have set up in my home and how they work and how you can set them up yourself. Now these automations range from simple to a bit more involved, but none of them should be too difficult for someone who's getting started in automations. Now the first automation is actually two automations in one, and it's turning my Philips Hue lights on or off based on sunlight, specifically the sunrise or sunset. I have my front and back porch lights automatically turn on at sunset and turn off at sunrise. There are a number of ways you could accomplish this, but I'm simply using the Apple Home app. It's as simple as adding an automation for when the time of day occurs and tapping sunset or sunrise. Then you just select the lights you wanna turn on or off and that's it. You now have a simple automation that will turn your lights on at night and off in the morning. You could also achieve this using a specific time parameter. However, with time changes, this automation will simply keep the lights automating no matter what time it gets dark or light outside. You could also just use a simple smart switch. I just happen to have these Philips Hue bulbs lying around. The next automation is one that I'm using for a weekly recurring reminder. Every Tuesday night, I have Siri remind me to set the trash out for trash day on Wednesday, both audibly through my home pods and with a notification to my iPhone. Now I'm using the Apple Shortcuts app for this and it's a fairly simple automation. So in the Shortcuts app, you're gonna wanna go to automations down here at the bottom and you're gonna wanna tap add automation. So for this one, I'm gonna use the time of day automation and I'm gonna set the time, let's call it 6.45 p.m. And then here's the key, I wanna do weekly and I wanna select only the day or days that I want this to run. After I do that, I wanna select run immediately and I'm gonna leave notify when run off. I'll hit next and now you wanna create a new blank automation and for your first action, you want to add intercom. So after you select intercom, you want to type your message. I'm gonna say, don't forget to set the trash out. And now here you can select which rooms you want that to go to. I wanna be alerted no matter where I'm at in the house and I wanna hear it on whatever speaker. So I just leave it as Styrewalt Home. Now we're gonna add a notification action and we're gonna say show. And this notification is gonna to go to my iPhone and I'm just gonna put the same thing. Don't forget to set the trash out. And now we're gonna hit done. And now it's that simple. We have an automation that is going to not only notify us on our home pods, but also on my iPhone every time it's time to set the trash out. Don't forget to set the trash out. All right, so now let's move into some location-based automations. These automations can be helpful to ensure your home is secure and devices are off when you're away and things turn on when you arrive home. Let's start with a simple automation that turns the lights off when the last person leaves home. This can easily be done in the Apple Home app. So we go to the Apple Home app and we're gonna tap create new automation. You're gonna select people leave. So you're gonna put the last person leaves and for deeper insights, you can actually click into that info button to see who is triggering that automation and then you can select who you want. I'll leave it as everyone and I'll hit next. So now I'll select any scenes or devices I wanna trigger when the last person leaves. Now what I've done is I created a leave home scene that does all of the actions I want to perform when we leave. Well, almost all, and we'll get into that in a minute. So I'll select my leave home scene, hit next, and then I'll just hit done. Now I have that automation. Now when the last person leaves, my house will basically shut down. This gets us 99% of the way where I want to be, but all this really does is turn the lights off and close the shades. Unfortunately, without me manually tapping my screen when this runs, I can't lock the doors or set the security system. This is a security feature in Apple Home. But my next automation is the loophole I found around this. So taking that last automation a step deeper, using either a virtual switch or a physical smart plug, I can bypass the Apple Home security feature mentioned a minute ago. By setting up this smart plug, I can create an automation that says, when this smart plug turns on, set the security system to away. And when the smart plug turns off, set the security system off. My device location is not communicating with the security system itself now, but the smart plug. And then the smart plug is controlling the security system, bypassing that Apple Home security feature. So first, we're gonna add the smart plug to the home. 
name it smart plug security and put it in any room you want. I like to put it with my Aclara hub, which is how I have the security system exposed to HomeKit. Next, we'll create four different automations. One, when the last person leaves home, turn the smart plug on. Then, an automation that says when the smart plug turns on, set the security system to away. Next, we're gonna do the opposite. When the first person arrives home, turn the smart plug off. And when the smart plug turns off, set the security system to off. For our final location-based automation, I'll simply have our lights turn on when anyone arrives home after dark. So I'll simply create an automation that says, people arrive, the first person arrives home, and then we'll set at night. But at night usually would be too dark for an automation like this. So I'll tap info and then I'll set it to one hour before sunset. Now this usually makes it happen while it's not too dark out, but it is getting dark. So I'll hit next and I'll have this turn on my driveway lights, my garage lights, and any inside lights that I wanna turn on. So we'll say foyer and my kitchen lights. Next and done. All right, and there you go. Finally, let's talk about three automations you can set up to control devices based on the state of another device. In my home, I have two smart switches in my kitchen, one for my kitchen overhead lights and one for my dining room lights. When we're in our dining room eating dinner, we don't really want the kitchen lights turning off while we're eating. But when our kitchen lights do turn off, we also want our dining room lights to turn off. To accomplish this, simply go into the app and create an automation for when an accessory is controlled. So I'll select my kitchen overhead switch and I'll hit next and then I'll select turns off. I'll hit next, then I'll find my dining room lights. Next, turn off. Now when my kitchen lights turn off, my dining room light will also turn off. Another automation I have set up is a sensor automation that turns on my garage lights when the garage entry door opens. Now I built this by selecting a sensor detect something and then I chose my entry, garage entry door opens. I selected next and then I went to my garage lights. Next, turn on. but I don't want them to stay on. And since I'm not using motion or presence, I'll select turn off after 10 minutes, which will give us plenty of time in here. I have a similar automations for my driveway lights so that when I open the front door at night, our driveway lights will turn on for 10 minutes. Simple and efficient. With all of these battery operated devices in our home, it's never ideal for these automations to have the batteries die. So I wanna create an automation that alerts me if the battery is low. Now I currently have this set up for my smart shades. The only downside to doing this automation is I do need a separate app for battery status since that isn't a trigger we can use in Apple Home natively. I use the Home Plus app for this automation and I'll link it down below in the description. The Home Plus app is great to take your automations just a step further when you need to create automations based on the state of devices. So in the Home Plus app, I'll build an automation by tapping Add Event. And I'll select Accessory State. And I will go down to Find My Shades, Kitchen Shades. Now I can only do this for one of these at a time, so I'll select this one. And now I wanna select Battery Level. Normally I'd probably set this at about 10%, but for the sake of this video, I'll set it a little closer to where it currently is. We'll say 43%. Now I'll skip the condition for this automation and I'll go down to control accessories. And for that accessory, I'll find my Acara M1S hub light and I'll turn that orange and I'll set it to 100%. Now I'll save this and I'll name it shade battery low. Saving. And, done. and now when that battery gets to that defined percentage, the light will turn orange to let me know it's time to charge it. And I can do a similar automation to let me know when it reaches 100% so I can unplug it when it's done charging. So as you can see, there are a lot of ways to automate your home and make it work for you. It's simply based on your needs and limited to your imagination. I'd love to know some of your favorite automations. I'd love to know some of your favorite automations you have deployed in your smart home. Let me know down in the comments. 
Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button so that YouTube knows it was a good video. And consider subscribing for more smart home and tech related videos. Before you go, check out this video tour of my smart home. And here's a video that YouTube seems to think you'll like as well. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.